Okay, let's have some fun with some effects. Um, one of the effects we used a little earlier was the picture-in-picture, picture, and that used to be down here on the timeline, and of course it's right up here, and then we resized it and kind of just played around with it um, in that, and it was really easy. Um, what we're going to do right now is let's go into the particle room here, and uh, if I click on this and then click play, you'll see that we've got these light particles basically coming at us. Um, if I want others to choose from, I can simply click here, and if I've got an account, a free account set up in a director zone, I can go online, and there's probably hundreds or maybe even thousands of different uh, particles effects that I can uh, load into my library to be used. So to, to apply this effect, I simply click on it and drag it to wherever I want here on this particular timeline here, the picture-in-picture timeline. As you can see, I'm getting a circle with a line through it here, and I'm getting it over there. But if I drag it right here, um, it goes on to the timeline, and it can apply the effect. Um, and then we'll just shorten this up a little bit, and let's back this up a little bit here, and make sure we're, we've clicked on Movie, and let's see what kind of effect we have going on. And then right over laid on top of the video, we have that. Okay. Um, now let's say I wanted to, to appear over here and this as well. Okay, so if I drag this over here, it hasn't done anything. It's just kind of been hidden. It's gone. Okay, so we're going to do our Control Z to bring it back here. There it is. What we'll do here is we're going to go add more picture in picture in music tracks. So I'm going to click this, a little menu is going to appear right here, and I'm going to say give me one more picture in picture track. And you're going to see that appear right down here underneath the existing one. So now we can grab this and I can drag it down to this track here and go ahead and adjust the size. And let's bring this back about right there and we'll choose movie and then play and now you can see it's being applied to everything pretty cool huh now let's apply uh, some titles so we'll click on our title room and we have numerous uh, sample titles here you can see we have a lot of uh, speech bubbles as I click on each you can see them over here um, yes you can adjust the text that's in them you can do quite a bit of things with these speech bubbles. If I move down here, they have something that are, that are called lower thirds, and they occupy basically the lower third of the video screen here. So if I click on one of these, there's a nice one for graduation, uh, more graduation, kids stuff. This one's up there, kids corner. So you've got a lot of different ones. Um, oh, just married, there's one for a, a wedding. So let's go ahead and, and grab that. Now we can either grab it or we can click on it and simply say add to title track so let's go ahead and do add to title track and it throws it in right here where the scrubber is and um, that's where it starts so let's just back this up just a little bit and of course I control the length by just uh, you know grabbing the right edge here and, and adjusting it as always um, now I want to modify this so I make sure I highlight this I'm in the title effect window and I can click modify if I was out of that window, okay, and I wanted to modify it, well, when I click on it, I can still do that and click Modify. And so here we are. And there's the bottom, the lower third that we are looking at previously. And um, we can go ahead and, and change this to whatever we want it to. So let's, uh, let's add, just add in a bang mark here. And uh, we'll go ahead and click OK and let's slip to or choose uh, movie mode and click play and you can see and it was an animated effect in reality but there's a little bang mark that we added so let's click on it again and let's choose modify alrighty so we're back in here there are hundreds of different things that you can do to adjust all of this um, you can choose different uh, preset fonts that they've got here and colors um, you can, uh, what's this here, font face settings. So you can play around with the fonts a little bit. Um, apply some shadows, blurs, transparencies, 
Um, you can really have a, a border, it looks like. So a lot of different things. Up here we can do, um, uh, we can actually go in and start to tweak each one of these objects. So each one of these is an object. All right, so we've got just married, that text box is an object. Romance, okay, this, um, this is an object behind here, this uh, thing of flowers, picture of flowers and stuff. And this, if I click back up here, oh, I guess I can't. So uh, clicking on these, I get all kinds of options down here where I can go in and play around and make some adjustments to those objects. And we'll save that for another uh, tutorial. So it's pretty much uh, that easy. What's over here? Um, background properties. Um, it's another thing we'll save uh, for another tutorial. And as you can see here, you even have the power to insert a new photo, a new uh, 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 title, um, a lot of different things you can do here. You can cut the selected object. I mean, just go ahead and have some fun. Maybe create a sample project and play around with your titles in that. But as you can see, it's very even the the standard ones that come with the program are just a lot of fun, and um, you can you can actually make a lot of adjustments to them. Okay, our picture in picture. Um, there's some cool little animations here, is what you have in picture in picture. And if you want something different than what it comes standard with, you can once again go online and download more from the director's zone. Uh, as I click on each one you can see that I can now click play and it shows you what the animation is going to do. Um, candle it's not going to do anything. Big ol' smack kiss. So you can just play around with these. Um, so let's go ahead and try one of these. Let's try one of the animated ones. Um, and this is going to put it onto the picture in picture track, all right, wherever our cursor is at. So we'll click this or drag it, and, we, and there we go, and it puts it on our first picture in picture track. Or we could have put it down here on our second one, or we could have added a new track once again just by clicking this and adding another track. And here you can see our balloon appears in the window. And if we just back this up a bit, and let's make this touch, okay, and back this up a little bit, and hit movie, and, and there's our balloon coming in along with our lower thirds, kind of a cool little effect there. Um, if you noticed, what was happening here is the balloon is primarily staying on this part of the screen. So if I pause this and then go back and click on that, it's kind of staying in this area as it floats up. So the animation is a stock animation and it's just told to start here and then work its way upward. Now we can change this a bit and we could start over here and maybe we want to see the whole balloon before it starts rather than the whole thing just kind of coming up gradually into the screen. Okay, so let's try that effect right there. Back this up a couple frames, click on movie, and click play, and there we go. Now it's on the right side of the screen. Um, we can even make it a longer effect here. So let's back this up, make sure we're on movie, and click play. And it kind of hovers around a little longer instead of disappearing so fast.